we chose to just let everybody speak for themselves and I think after hearing everybody and what they have to say and how everyone is going to utilize uh, these walls within their programs and their facilities, I think you know they did much better for themselves than we could have explained that. So, which brings me to, to, to just let you know, the selection process of how we selected where these four walls would be um, was, a, was, a, was an interesting process. And just to let you know, yes, there were absolutely physical considerations. It left a lot of people out and a lot of potential locations out where we really wanted to do it and they wanted to do it. Other than the physical considerations, because it needs a certain amount of sun and it needs a certain amount, and it does need water, but uh, mostly it was the sun and obviously the wall space. Other than the physical considerations, there were the social considerations. So when we were looking, we really wanted to find environments that were, we can say that something is a gift, but if the people that we're giving it to don't consider it a gift, it's, a, it's not a gift. So we wanted people to know how, what to do with it immediately, on their own. And that's how we really made the selections. And each of these four participants, the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank, the Weingart Center, uh, the Miguel Contreras Learning Complex, and the Rainbow Apartments, they all knew immediately what to do, how to do it, how to be involved, how to involve their, their um, students, their population, the residents, and uh, that was what was so exciting, is we, they need to have a good home in every possible way. Uh, they have fully automated irrigation systems, so it's not about watering it necessarily. It's really about the love and the care. And so we're very, very honored and blessed and just so happy that these walls have found the home that they've found. And I just want to really thank everybody for that. And I have to say our, our immediate partners of, of Robin Osler with uh, um, Elmsley Osler Architect and with George and Diana Green Living Technologies and all the participants and Taj with Urban Farming and everybody. It has been the funders, Warner Brothers by the way, Warner Brothers Entertainment was a, uh, gave us a gift as well toward this project. Um, as I said, as did the Annenberg and as did the Office of Community, Community Beautification. It's been a joy, a true joy of a journey for these last many, many months, um, almost a year, really. So right now, basically, we're gonna close it up here and um, we're gonna take a walk around the block and we're gonna go over to the Rainbow Apartments and just so we can view a completed wall. So we're all just gonna sort of caravan, a little walking caravan over there. So I thank you so much for coming out and for paying attention to this project. Thank you.